In New York, I'm definitely um, a creature of comfort, for sure. Hi, Ken. <laughs> God, how many New York Fashion Weeks have you been to? Eight years times two, so 16. Wow. Mm hmm. It's a lot. Yeah, and then obviously many times to New York in between. I do have a bit of a New York routine. I mean, I will say New York has always been like, always felt like a city of convenience in comparison to London because everything is so freely available, everything is like open all the time. Yeah. In that respect, I like coming here for that 24 hour life. So what, what do you think of the pier? I mean, it's just old school New York. It's like everything like you'd want your first experience oh, yeah. that's of that's that's New York to be like, you know, there's a lovely, charismatic man that's in the elevator. You're right by the park. You have like cinematic view. You're like near all the department stores. It's just classic New York or, or something. Gossip Girl New York. Gossip Girl New York, exactly. Where's Chuck Bass? Yeah, exactly. Well, you were great in this whole situation. <laughs> this, so it's like. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm super appropriate. I feel like if I swanned down into the lobby, people would not bat an eyelid at all. I have a ruffle that obscures half of my face, which I love. Um, very Elizabethan and uh, yeah this collection was just like one of my New York Fashion Week highlights. The, all the jackets and the coats were incredible. Everything about and the colour palette as well that's sort of really saturated but dark but bright at the same time. Yeah just sort of made me think of like Antonio Lopez drawings or Veramontes lines, like really sharp, angular, 80s statement pieces. I've always liked eclectic people, so people like Catherine Barber, illustrator Julie Verhoeven, she teaches at Central St. Martin, she's got a really eclectic style. Thank you. Thank you.